Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Chrono Trigger. Last time, we passed out after getting food poisoning from some spoiled pork in the soup. That's what I'm telling my mom anyway when we get to this part of the story. This time, we have to go look for the gate key that disappeared after we were knocked out from said soup. And to help us on our way, we have a cruised a new party member, Isla. I think I said it kind of both ways in the same breath right there. Uh, now that she has joined our party, the natives are a little more willing to help our cause. Oh, come to see me. What do you have? Fang, petal, horn, feather. Give me six. Three each, two kind. I give you good strong thing. What you give me? You just simply select the two materials that you want to give him. And he spits out what he will give you in return for three of each. This part is a little complicated. It can be a little confusing which materials you want to get and how many of them, but don't worry, I'm here for you. First off, I want to go off to the hunting range once more. We visited this place briefly just to show what a primo grinding spot it is, and because we've gotten a new party member, though less shiny than our old party member, we want to get some TP on her. And there is a guy that I know that can fulfill such a wish. Any moment now? Yes, rain! I'm actually recording this in a very uh, intense thunderstorm outside. I hope I don't lose power. This system is portable, but my desktop computer is not. And even though I have a battery backup, sometimes it doesn't always work whenever the power surge is strong enough. And I'm not fighting the new this time, am I? One more time, ultra vez. I think that's how you say it. Go, 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 go! First battle with a new party member, Ayla, is the genetic ancestor of Chuck Norris. Will you call an old outdated joke? I say there is really no more succinct way to explain it than that. It was the best I had. Her regular attack just hit for more than Kronos. What do you expect? She is raw physical power. She doesn't have any text to start off, but we can change that. We're gonna beat up on the naughty little new just a little bit more. And good, you don't hit Chrono for any damage. I was um, was wrong last time that you had two different attacks. You just have the one that reduces you to one HP. So we don't have to worry, don't need to heal, don't need to do anything other than just bash your face in. Ayla learned kiss. Good TP grinding, good EXP grinding, and good materi grinding. I was really trying to force that into a rhyme, but it wasn't coming to me within a moment. Oh no, on my way out, it started raining again. What a tragedy that I might have to fight the new again. How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? Well, while we're here, we might as well do it. Ayla's kiss tech is healing. There's being vain and there's kissing yourself when your friend is near death in front of you. It is a healing tech that can be used on anybody. It's not a terribly strong healing tech, but it does add to her versatility and a place on a team a little bit better. Let's actually use it on somebody who's damaged this time. She likes Chrono after all. With Ayla's text being the hot topic of the now, I wanna to talk to you about a certain one that technically you could grind up for now if you had a couple hours to kill with fighting the new. Uh, I'll just tell you what it is without saying what it does. It's called Charm. There's great rewards to be earned ahead if you grind up for this tech, but I've been there and it takes, it took over two hours when I did it even with the new. I didn't have a fun time. I thought it made me way overpowered for the next five hours of gameplay. You're not really missing out on anything long-term by not grinding up for it now. I just know that some veterans really love having it as soon as possible. And I thought I'd mention that I'm not gonna be grinding up for it, but maybe you wanna vary up your playthrough a little. I don't recommend it, but maybe you do. No crit, unfortunately. And But she learned around Dillo Kick and we got the Drill Kick dual tech. You strong, here take. That's all the materials that I personally wanted to get. I'll go over exactly how many of each you want momentarily, but we have some enemies around here that we weren't exactly detailed about before. They were just kind of there, and we might as well switch in other party members to get the Roundillo tech going to see if it has any more dual techs that can be learned. These Ion Clouds are not at all like their futuristic counterparts. Their attacks... Oh, come <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm making fun of them for being terrible, and then... 
<laughs> well, uh, that's what I get for being all like, nah, you don't have to do anything with the new. <laughs> yeah, they just physically attack you. There's, they're not enemies that you're supposed to hit with magic or anything. They just sort of exist. They have a striking resemblance to enemies that employ a lot of strategy, but they themselves don't. And, uh, the frogs... These are called Prehistoric Frogs. They're exceedingly weak enemies, and their only attack is... Wow, death by licking. Uh, thankfully that wasn't Luca, otherwise she would have met a very, very tragic end. <laughs> Robo just punched in the face. If you'd be so kind, thank you. Since we had some deaths there, um, I guess this would be a good time to mention that in swapping the party, you are playing as Chrono until the day he dies. And not even then. At the end of a battle, you come back with one HP. You cannot possibly be dead outside of a battle, so Chrono is always the leader of the party. Ayla got a crit on the way out. 312! Heh, <laughs> and you thought Chrono was the physical attacker when I told you he was the jack of all trades. On the way out, we got the spin kick dual tech. We were not able to learn any tech because Ayla was not alive. It's one of the few downsides of not being alive at the end of a battle. Oh no, seems I ran into the new again while filling in the map. I swear I wasn't actually trying to find him again this time. I was being not so coy about it before, but this time it really was kind of an accident. I just wanted to find any enemy at all the fights so that I could get any dual text with Luca learned. Chrono got a level up and we also learned Flame Kick. Enough being uncoy, said that I had all the materials that I cared to get and so I do. Inside of the Ioka Hut, there's several items to obtain. For the Petal and Fang, as we saw before, that gets the Ruby Gun, a weapon for Luca. Petal and Horn gives Shaman's Bow for Marl. Petal and Feather gives a Stone Arm, a la Robo. Fang Horn, Mammoth Tusk, whatever use we're gonna find for that. Fang Feather is a Ruby Vest, a very strong piece of equipment that grants resistance against fire. I only recommend buying one, maybe two of these if you have anything left over. I'll explain in a moment. Lastly, Horn and Feather is a stone helm. Probably gonna just grab one of these. In total, that means that you want nine petals, nine fangs, 12 horns, 12 feathers for what I consider optimal. If you want, you can get all equipment for everyone right here and now, but this game's easy enough and I don't recommend doing it. I think it actively does kind of break the pace a little bit and this is all you need. The Ruby Vest is weaker than the Mesozoic Male, but reduces fire damage. Luca has Taban's Vest, which grants speed in return for a little bit less defense. I think you can see which one I want to go with. This would probably be best used on Marl due to her inherent weakness to fire. And Robo, I suppose, yeah, you're doing fine. We're not gonna have you in the party for right now. Stone Arm gives six more attack. Shaman's Bow gives 10 more attack. Ruby Gun is 10 more attack, though we lose the stop on robots effect. I don't think I'm going to be crying myself to sleep over that in prehistoric times. And the Mammoth Tusk is a weapon for Chrono. I remember thinking that this was an accessory the first time that I played the game and was so confused why I couldn't find it in my inventory. Seems like things like that happen to me a lot now that I'm saying that out loud again. Stone Helm is more powerful than the Golden Helm, which makes sense on a scientific level. And part of the reason why I suggested not buying a lot of things is not only is the Mesozoic Male stronger than the Ruby Vest, Ayla, comes with a stone helm and a ruby vest already, and those can be switched around the party, no problem at all, if you just don't want to use, well, we actually have to use her, so never mind, it really is actively a bad idea to get that. Power Scarf gives strength plus four, and I'd like to compare her stats right now. Ayla does not fight using any sort of weapon. In fact, that anime cutscene where she made her debut has been the only time in canon that she has ever been depicted wielding a club. She fights with her bare hands, and her attack stat is still one stronger than Chrono, who uses a sword. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I had no better way of explaining her. There's, uh, what would I want to give you is the thing. The power scarf does make you more powerful. The third eye could be good for her. Her evasion stat is base 25 compared to Chrono having 15 and 13, 12, 12, yeah. 
Her evasion stat is remarkably high, and it's good to have her just take physical attacks because uh, she can evade the attacks most of the time. I think I'll go for that right now. In the Super Nintendo version, it's not at all clear what the third eye actively does. It says that it boosts evasion, but it's not very specific by how much, and you have to kind of take its word for it because the stat is not actually changed until it's in a battle. Otherwise, seems like things are pretty good, and you want to see something redundant? I'm personally not feeling so good from the Jurassic Pork Soup last night. I don't think I should be taking any happy water. So, the rugs, the Sabertooth Tiger rugs in Ayla's home heal you, even though there is a free heal point right nearby. Oh, I don't think we've gotten to see Lucas sleeping animation in full before, because she's always been in a bed when we saw it. That's kind of cool. With all that done, we're free to start asking around town and see what we can learn. Reptite strong. Chief, take this. Four potions. Appreciate your civic duty, civilian. Drink happy water. No, me no drink happy water. Not after that. Reptite scales, cold blood, hard to beat. Misi reptites come from meeting grounds. Go south forest maze. Wear Kino, no see all day. Forest maze, scary place. Many monsters, many pads. Chief, be careful. Sounds like we have a lead. Gotta follow the footprints for the reptites, because they undoubtedly have what we're looking for. Kino, what you do? Say now! Kino, sorry, Ayla. Kino, take Chrono stuff. Why take? Kino, like Ayla best. Ayla, say like Chrono. Kino, mad. Wow, talk about strict! Kina know why Ayla hit. Ayla no like Kino. No! Ayla like Kino best! So Ayla know what Kino do bad thing! Bad thing not good. Ayla. Kino sorry, Ayla. Kino sorry, Chrono. Give thing back, Chrono. No have. Reptites take. Reptite! Where reptite go? Run trees. There. Ayla, go! Kino, go! Back! Village! Ayla, gone! Kino, protect! Ioka! Okay, Ayla. <laughs> Kino, man. Ayla, die. Ayla, have baby. Then Kino, chief. Ayla's one tough cookie. Follow Reptite! Get Chrono Thing! Not perhaps the Chrono Trigger, I might ask? Well, starting off in the Forest Maze, we have a mid potion. We can now explore this area in full thanks to the Reptites clearing the way. And what do you know? New enemies and new text to try out on them. These are Golden Eaglets. They have, if I am not mistaken, and a resistance to lightning in this form. Float up you go. Oh no, they have a weakness to it, it seems, actually. Uh, Ayla, uh, Ayla, uh, Luca just, I was gonna say shoot the thing though, but I'm just getting everything wrong now. Uh, now they're red, and with such coloration as one would expect, we can come around to your turn, we can try out the flame kick, and exploit the now red enemy. Oh, now it has a, <laughs> I got it mixed up. I thought it was lightning resistance in the yellow form and then fire weakness in the red form and I just got it all wrong. Yeah, it has a fire immunity when it's red and it's just normal when it's yellow, so it develops that. Okay, uh, that was not a good showcase of a first new tech, so how about, how about you just do the vanilla roundillo kick? No need to make things more complicated than that. You're done? Boom! 146. Not too spectacular. It is normally stronger. These enemies just have high physical resistance. We'll get an Athenian water. And moving right on along, I saw an item over this way. We're gonna go over that really cool looking tree root to get a mid ether. Fill in the map in the upper corner, which is actually the correct pathway that we're supposed to go. I'm getting all turned around here and it's called the forest maze, genius. <laughs> Uh, this enemy. Originally, I disliked this enemy compared to the cave ape. It's called a bow bow, and I'm like, what the heck is that supposed to mean? And then I realized 
It seems to be what a caveman would call a baboon, and then I like the name a lot more after realizing that. It's pretty clever. We'll do the drill kick, putting together Ayla and Chrono's attack power to do 386 damage. Uh, hitting with the force of Deoxys himself, that is amazing. We'll just shoot the dang thing and finish him off. Okay. Well, things are coming along well, but I think we should find an opportunity to use that flame kick soon. Just so that we can use as many techs as possible. We've been having them coming in uh, like madness. Oh, hey, there we go. Two kill wallas and another bow bow. Bow bow, bow before my might. Anytime that you want, yes. Flame kick. It'll imbue Ayla with a fire element to make her effectively able to perform magic, doing 350, uh, six. We can take these things. No, we can't. The Kiwalas aren't. Are these different Kiwalas? They might be. There's that counterattack. Knew that was coming. <laughs> you just kind of get a sixth sense for it after a while. It seemed different. Okay. <laughs> just throw me at the wall there. It's kind of funny how their position just permanently changes after they get thrown. They don't teleport back to their original spot. Get a pedal, get a fang. Not that I need those, but hey. Uh, now that we've done Flame Kick, I'll switch out the party. No, nah, Marl doesn't have anything with Ayla, so Robo it is. Shelter. And for some kind of strange trivia about Ayla. In the Japanese language, vowels and sounds in general do not change based on their usage as they do in English. They are always constant, and it's easy to know how something is pronounced based on how it is spelled. Because of this, Ayla does not call Chrono Chrono. She will shorten the name that you gave him by a few syllables. It's something that's really nice and adds a lot of personality to every playthrough as you're like, oh, what's she gonna call him this time? That unfortunately couldn't carry over because English sucks, let's be real. <laughs> um, but it's kinda cool and I think it is in line with her because she shortens a lot of other words and Chrono's one of the few things that she doesn't. Ayla's not the only character that does this either. Marl's real name being Princess Nadia, in the Japanese version, it adds Dia to the end of whatever you named her. And if we're gonna talk about other things about Ayla and naming and all that, in the English prototype of Chrono Trigger, Ayla's name was OM2. Why would a super strong Amazon woman have the name OM2? It's just because that's where the English characters fell, where her Japanese name was, and it was a product of the localization not be finalized when the screenshots were taken, so she just has that name in manuals. It's kind of dumb. And something slightly more interesting, I guess while we're on the note of this, is that Robo's original name in the localization was Robot. I said slightly more interesting, not lighting the world on fire. Whoa! Uh, I didn't acknowledge that attack before, but that's pretty strong. I just killed you outright. You didn't even get to transform into your final form. What a killjoy. That's everything that I think we can do in the way of tax. So go ahead and give me a kiss and help me feel better. And we'll do a supersonic spin. I've had some people pointing out that my whole thing about Robo not being a strong magic user um, does kind of have some flaws in it, and I actually agree. There's the fact that because Robo has a nice, cheap screen nuke that can just spread around lots of damage, we don't really have anyone else that can do that, and that might be a reason to... Um, uh, to spend your magic capsules on him. I don't think I personally will, but it is a good reason, and it is one merit that he has as a magic user that no one else does, even though his magic stat is as weak as Chrono's. He's not as bad as Chrono at magic like I made him sound. Smack that thing, and it will never fly again. That's actually really sad. I don't want to do that. Oh, cat! Oh, cat attack and thunder chop! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, wow. All right. I gave up on grinding out Tex for Ayla. I wasn't about to stay around and make you watch me grind on the new for hours and hours and hours to get all of her Tex, even though you can totally do that. That's something I wasn't expecting to get for a while, and that treasure chest is bothering me. I'll be right back to go get it. Back over by that cool-looking tree that I praised. Mid-potion. That's what it was. Went to the lower corner this time, and hey, look. It's a pigeon. It's got wings. It's... It has gray on it. Pigeon. See? Ayla. Oh, time to try out our new Ayla. We're going to use cat attack and just attacking on her own. 
316. Feel so catatonic, don't it? <laughs> I don't even know what catatonic means. That might be completely wrong. She tears schist up. Could not be more powerful. She gets a level up. And there we are. We'll take a panacea. And oh no, I was about to say, and then we're gonna say see ya to this area, but uh, it didn't quite work out that way. There I go, my not noticing chess ruining my pun opportunities. I am ashamed. We go down and we've made it out of the forest maze and to the reptite lair. Next time on Chrono Trigger, we go in after our key. See you guys then.